morning everybody just after eight o'clock jared and i got up at 5 30 this morning got everything packed up and uh hoofed it out here to this nice vista so we could be out here for the sunrise i was kind of worried that uh, we weren't going to make it we thought it might be a little bit further than what it ended up being but we legged it out across here as fast as we could and we made it out here with like 20 minutes to spare so this was a spectacular spot for breakfast so now we're just going to get uh everything packed up get the packs on and keep hammering down the trail Jared and I just got done climbing back up here to the ridge. Uh, we'll have one more uh, stint like that here and I think about two miles or so it drops down off the, the ridge again uh, to supposedly some water sources so we'll see how see how that is. So far section two has been uh, been absolutely brutal between the, the rocks and rocks under leaves and then uh, these like chest and eye high briars everywhere. It's certainly making uh, travel slow going so Certainly going to hope that uh, some of these briars clear out up here, but it's hard to say. That's why we that's why we wore the pants for this. At least there is a breeze up here, which is nice. When we were dropped down off there, it was uh, pretty humid, miserable down in there. So certainly glad to be up on this ridge now. healthy ascent for the day I hope uh, we're back up here on top of the ridge I think we got about another two miles to go and then we'll uh, drop down off here and then slowly wake our, make our way down to uh, where we cross underneath the turnpike and then I think that's pretty much the end of section two and then we're gonna start a little bit of section three you know till we till we hike into Everett there Got a nice breeze up here Jared and I are both uh, been pounding the water pretty good I'm down to two liters not sure what, how much Jared's got. Hopefully enough to make it here to the end, so we don't pass out from dehydration. But it's definitely been a definitely been a brutal day so far.
descent from the ridge has begun. Final descent down off of here. Made it down here to the road crossed underneath the turnpike that uh, pretty much concludes section two so now we're starting section three just a couple miles we'll walk into Everett here so so far it's been a nice easy grade yeah that uh that section two is, is absolutely no joke Jared and I each got uh pretty shredded by all those briars and everything and then the rocks up there really made it some slow going um, still made some pretty decent time it is three o'clock right now so we should get done uh maybe here by four i'd say at least but yeah and we're each about out of water i think i've got uh about half a liter three quarters of a liter and jared's down to he's got like okay so, so he's got <laughs> he's got a swallow water lap but yeah so i think i started out with four four and a half liters this morning and i'm down to half so Definitely make sure that you hydrate through that section and, and plan accordingly because there was no water the whole way through there. Still haven't seen a water source yet other than, uh, you know, obviously the, the river down here to my left. But yeah, there, it was completely dry the whole way through section two. All right, guys we made it almost to Everett here probably got about a half mile to go it's kind of been some little weird sections right here getting into into Everett which didn't surprise me we kind of like walked through some almost looks like old sawdust areas and stone storage I don't know now we got this chain link fence here on our right then we were just kind of like sandwiched right between route 30 and the turnpike so it was howling loud about half couldn't hear yourself think yeah, overall, this was definitely a uh, very rigorous trail. You know, section one wasn't bad at all. It was pretty enjoyable. You know, it's had some some tougher sections, but section two is just absolutely brutal. There's no way you could do that with shorts unless you, you just look like your legs went through a cheese grater. I don't know if you'll be able to see, but like, there's my, there's my arm. My pants look very similar. Jared and I both look like we just got into a fight with a pack of mountain lions just gnarly and there was zero water the whole way through section two not saying that there wouldn't be maybe in the spring or something but right now in, in late fall here not a drop of water so you'd have to have to pack all your water through there so and the campsites were pretty limited too especially with like big sections being on the state game land so section two i'm going to give it uh, about a two out of five stars probably being generous it had some nice views and then uh in section one was was really nice i'd probably give it four out of five so that guys we're going to uh finish this thing out finish the hike in here to, to everett and then we are going to find some food because we are both ravenous so as always guys get outdoors have fun and embrace the uphill till next time this is vista ventures